So you have a Apple Watch Ultra 2 and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the watch is on, maybe you can feel it vibrate, you hear notifications coming in, maybe you get phone calls. The only thing is the screen will not turn on. Okay, I'm going to give you guys several options that you can do right now to get you up and running. Okay, first thing, take note that this one here is fixed, but we're going to pretend we have a black screen here. So the first thing we're going to try is we're going to restart it using a two key combination. Okay. So while the watch is on, even though you have a black screen, what you want to do is press and hold the digital crown and the side button here. Press and hold both buttons. Don't let go until you see an Apple logo appear. Okay. So let's pretend my watch here is the screen is black, digital crown, side button. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Continue to hold until we see an Apple logo appear. Don't worry about what's on my screen here. You just pretend that it's totally black. Still holding on two buttons here, waiting for an Apple logo to appear. Still holding. Oh, Apple logo. Go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully you will be out of the black screen. If it goes back to the black screen, then we're going to go to option number two. Okay, if you still have a black screen, no problem. Next thing I want you to do is this. Grab your phone and I want you to spam both buttons here, okay? The crown and the, um, the side button here. Just press them both, kind of spam them like that. Now stop. Go ahead and grab your charger. We're going to put it on there. And wait about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, while it's charging now, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to restart it using the two key combination, okay? So it's charging, but my screen here is black. Digital crown, side button, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Keep on holding until we see an Apple logo appear. Still holding on both buttons here. Still holding. Where's that Apple logo? Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Let go. Let it boot up normally, and hopefully you are out of the black screen. If not, we're going to go to the next possible fix. Okay, it's still black, no problem. This time we're going to go ahead and pull off the charger. Next thing we're going to do is this, okay? We're going to do something what I call the tap method, okay? So we're just going to hold the, hold the watch like this, grab a finger, and you, what you want to do is tap kind of hard all over on the screen here, on the sides, everywhere. Same thing on the back here, okay? You want to tap kind of hard all over. Then turn the phone over, tap that power button or the digital crown and see if the screen is on. If it's still off, no problem. From here, again, two button combination, digital crown, side button, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Keep on holding to the Apple logo appears. I'm still holding again, both buttons, the digital crown and the side slash power button still holding. Still holding here. Come on up. Oh, there it is. Go ahead and let go. Let it boot up normally. And hopefully you are out of the black screen now. If not, we'll go to the next possible solution. Okay, you still have a black screen. No problem. So for this next one here, I want you to go ahead and grab your phone and go to your Apple Watch app. Hopefully it's connected, okay? Go to Apple Watch. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to change the watch face or the clock face, okay? So we're going to go to Face Gallery. And then from here, we're going to choose something different, okay? Just choose a different one here. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and pick that one right there. I'm going to click on Add. Now, and then, uh, sorry, but now I tap on My Watch, and I see my, all my faces here. So that last one, I actually made two of them. Let me just tap on that now. And now I'm going to go ahead and set it as a current watch face, which is already on there. And hopefully once you do that, your screen actually turns on. Okay, if it turns on, then you can change it back to your other clock face. However, however if that didn't work or you couldn't do it because your phone wasn't connected and it's still have a black screen, then the next thing I have for you is this. What I want you to do is grab your Apple Watch just like this. Go to your freezer, put it in your freezer just like this. Leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, go to your freezer, grab your nice, cold, icy Apple Watch and then tap on one of the buttons and see if your screen is on. If not, do the same thing again. Two key combination, digital crown, side button, press and hold both buttons and don't let go until you see the Apple logo appear. Once it appears, let go. Now here's the thing. If you guys tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen, then what I want you to do is try every single step a second time. 
no go try it three times try it at least seven times okay if you guys tried all these steps at least seven times i'm going to guess at least 75 percent you guys will not have a working screen so if it worked for you please comment which method or combination of methods you think work for you so others can see and give me a thumbs up if it didn't work give me a thumbs down we should see at least a 75 percent thumbs up all right good luck guys